Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be clearing out this and as you can see I've already cleared some of it out. That's because halfway through clearing this out I realized that the recordings I originally recorded before this was cleared somehow either didn't get recorded or got deleted. But basically all that I said was that I'm going to be clearing this out which I'm going to do in the form of a time lapse. Alright, I finished clearing this out, and well, I'm not actually going to build anything here yet, um, because I need to get the materials to do that, and to get the materials to do that, I need to build some farms, because if I try to get the materials manually, that's going to take a really long time. But before we actually build the farms, I'm going to have to figure out what items I need to farm and how many I need, and to do that, I need to hop on the creative world. Before we actually figure out how many resources we need, I need to design a quick LA sorter for the top here. So the current design has this item filter on top, so all I need to do is replace these layers with an LA sorter. Alright, here's my first design, it's pretty simple. We have our LA sitting here in a minecart, and whenever it picks up an item, it'll immediately throw it into this hopper and I've set it up so that it simulates filling up a shulker box and you'll notice a few things happen. The LA gets pushed over to the side. This is to prevent it from picking up more swords that would be coming by here so that items don't accumulate on top of this hopper 
and then when it finally unlocks, they all flow down into the system at once, clogging it up. And then to link the LAs, we just have them at the top here, right next to the note block they're going to link to, and they'll only link to that note block, as you can see. Now I just need to make sure this is tileable. Alright, I've done some tests, and it seems to work pretty well. I also tried putting two right next to each other, and that also works. So this system should work pretty well. Now I just need to figure out how many resources I need to build the LA sorter and the regular stackable item sorter. All right, I've decided to separate the schematics into two different parts. So we have the bottom, which will be the same for both the LA and item sorters. And then we can just swap between the two when we're gonna build it. Now before I can continue and calculate the amount of items I need, I need to first make a list of all the items I'm going to store. All right, I've compiled a list of all the items I'm going to store. Now I have chosen to exclude some items that are unobtainable, such as bedrock and farmland, along with items that can't be sorted by LAs like potions because LAs can't sort through NBT data. So in the end, this is the amount of items we're gonna store. And of course, I can always add more in the future. Anyway, I tallied everything up and we need 884 stackable item sorters, 149 unstackable ones, for a total of 1,033 item sorters. And as I showed you earlier, each module consists of a bottom segment and a top segment, either a stackable or an unstackable. And I have put the resources needed for each part of the module in here, along with the raw resources you need to craft these items. So now we basically have everything we need to calculate how many items we need to build the whole storage system, and also what kinds of farms we need. Like for example, I'm going to probably need a cobblestone farm, a wood farm, and oh yeah, there are some fractions in here that are kind of messy. And that's probably what we'll do in the next video, we'll build some farms to farm all these things that we're going to need. Unfortunately, I've run out of time, so I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.